Welcome back to the page deployment. Seaboard Security Game of the Week, the Hamden Academy Broncos and the Brewer Witches. That was the Hamden Academy Band, led by band director Ben Aldrich. And there's quite a crowd gathering here at Hamden Academy. Take a quick look at the stats here. First for Brewer, the visiting team. It's uh, Ricky Adams, one for four for 15 yards. Rushing wise, it's Burnham, five carries, 19 yards. Meeker, two carries, 11 yards. Adams, two carries for seven yards. Tim Bush, two carries for four yards. And it's Colby, Hutch Colby Hutchins with a rush for 16 yards. Receiving Ryan Babin, one catch for 15 yards. For the Hamden Academy Broncos, Sean Smith, one for three, six yards, but two interceptions. Kyle Ross, 21 carries, 123 yards, and a touchdown. So he's having a great game. Bob Seeger, nine rushes, 46 yards. Sean Smith, four rushes for 11 yards. Number five, Craig Sarnecki, he has a rush for five yards. And Justin Kelsey has a rush for four yards. Bob Seeger, one catch, six yards for Hamden Academy. But the big difference, that Kyle Ross touchdown and what a game Mr. Ross has put together for himself today. Well, anytime you you rush, what, 143 yards here, I mean, that's usually a stat that you have at the end of the game. I mean, he is having a phenomenal game, uh, doing nothing but they're just misdirection plays, uh, trying to freeze Brewer's linebackers a little bit, and their defensive ends having a little bit of a guessing game that's going on right now, and Hamden's definitely winning that. So Kyle Ross, number 43, the senior, nickname is Ross Dog. He's played football for six years. He's playing fullback, halfback, and linebacker. Plays some basketball, baseball, as well as soccer. Obviously, he's not playing for soccer for the school this year. Uh, he enjoys lifting weights. He's going to college for optometry, which is uh, something very rare. And this is the big part right here. He's, he's going exactly how his favorite athlete, Jerome Bettis, the boss. He, he, you can see the, the same type of ground really? game there. He is. Bettis, one of those players that were one of the ones that wanted to always run over players and here you see Ross, he's running players over. And yeah, no and he's determined. Up. We've seen a couple plays where he could have been wrapped up in a line of scrimmage, and he's just squaring the shoulders, and he's driving the legs. He is very determined. He's a very determined young man to get the extra yards and to get this win for Hamden tonight. And the captains are meeting. It's going to be Brewer receiving the kick this time. So we're going to take a break. When we come back, it will be the third quarter. The Brewer Witches, the Hamden Academy Broncos, homecoming weekend for Hamden. Hamden on top, 7 nothing. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security High School Game of the Week. At this time, we'd like to pause for a moment of silence before we begin the second half for a man that has uh, put this whole video production together. His name is Mr. Bill Baxter. He was the co-founder of My Video Productions, uh, very involved in the youth growing up, and uh, our condolences are with Eric and Pam Baxter, who are the producers of this, and their family. So if we could please pause now for a moment of silence for Mr. Bill Baxter. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The Hamden Academy Broncos and the Brewer Witches. As you see Brewer receiving the kick here. Well, Kobe Hutchins on a great job that time taking the ball on the 15-yard line. And moving it up to the 36-yard line now. Great return of 26 yards. Brewer with pretty good field position here to start the second half. So Rick Adams will bring on the 
Hamden, the Brewer Witches, excuse me, on offense here for Brewer. And we'll see if Brewer can get some points on the board. Trailing 7 0 here in the third quarter. They're not doing a good, they're doing, excuse me, they are doing a great job of just ball controlling. They just need to get a few more yards per carry right now. So Brewer coming to the line now. And there's going to be the handoff. Can't really see who that one was to, but it's like Timmy Bush right up the middle that time. And Bush getting up to about the 40. Looks like a gain of three yards on the play. Great job that time by Hamden's. Linebackers coming up, making a stop that time. First guy that got him was number 40. That's Michael Judkins, a sophomore for Hamden in on the play. Now Adams back under center again, scanning the defense. He's going to hand it off to number 26 of Brewer. And I believe this might be the first time we've seen number 26 in there for Brewer. Oh, well, that's number 26. That's Cameron Jamison. And uh, he looks like he's going to be real close to picking up the first down. I don't have what age Mr. Judkins is in, but I believe he may be a freshman. He is a freshman. He's the only freshman on this Hamden Academy team. Six feet, 202 pounds. So a big freshman. And they had a very successful junior high program. You always talk about, you can see when success breeds success, uh, their junior high team went undefeated last year here in Hamden. And now Brewer looking at a first and 10 on the 47. Handoff to Hutchins. He's going to cross the 50, the 45, 40. He's got good speed, good open field speed there. Brought down around the 39, but that was a great burst of speed that you need to see. And well, that's what they were looking for. They were doing a great job, as I said, of getting two or three yards of pickup, but they needed someone to step up, bring those big plays, and Hutchins just ran off 13 or 14 yards, and more importantly was the execution cutting across the green that time and keeping his head up, running with a football. Great carry there by Hutchins, and I, I, really you haven't seen that burst of speed from Brewer until that play right there, so he could be something for Brewer to have. I wonder if he got that from his father, Randy. Randy was a great football player down at Lawrence High School. And Brewer's going to hand it off this time to number 36. And that's going to be Doug Nunn, so. Different bunch of group of players getting in here now for the Witches uh, running the football here in the second half. And I think Brewer's trying to just throw people in there, trying to see who can do it. And well, he's probably trying to say who's going to step it up. Maybe he challenged these guys at halftime. And Tim Bush coming in now for Brewer, so. Brewer throwing multiple looks here at Hamden Academy, and. Looking at a second and 10 from the 39 now. Adams going to give it to Bush. Bush, nice tackle there by number 53. Matt York, the senior, 6'1", 221 pounds from Hamden Academy. Great open field tackle. Well, Matt, Matt York did nothing. Just coming from his defensive tackle position. Stunned right across, untouched. Met him in the backfield for a loss, bringing up a third and 10 now for Brewer. Now Doug Norton coming back into the game for Brewer, so Brewer putting a new running back in almost on every play here. Hutchins back in there as well for Brewer. And you gotta figure this may be a two down series here for the Witches. Third and 10, the handoff to Hutchins. He breaks another tackle up to the 30, brought down around the 29. So there's that speed factor again. He's going to be close to a, a first down. Did a great job of, once again, going to the outside. That's where the play was designed, but it was kind of sealed. He did a great job cutting across the grain, picking up the extra yards. Going to bring up about a fourth and two now for Brewer. Fourth down. And Brewer looking at some short yardage here. Be very interesting to see. What they do. Could be Adams with a little sneak or it could be a handoff to Bush. It is going to be the handoff to Bush. He's got a first down and more. Out to about the 17 yard line, maybe down around the 16. A good carry there by Tim Bush. Yeah, a saving tackle that time by Bobby Seegers. He comes up from a safety position, but Bush was determined. He carried Mr. Seeger for three or four yards. And Bush coming off to the sidelines now. Be interesting to see what Brewer does here. Maybe their philosophy in the second half was when they rotate the backs and keeping them fresh, maybe they want to wear, uh, keep Hamden's defense out there, just keep wearing them down. Nodding in there at fullback, Hutchins in the backfield. So Bush is out again, and it's going to be Adams with the keeper. 
Keeps it himself inside the 10, brought down around the nine or eight yard line. A good carry there by Rick Adams. Brought down by Mike Butler for Hamden. I'm gonna bring him down around the 10, I guess. Seven yard gain for Adams and Naughton coming out and here comes Bush. So I think this is working here. They one play, they're swapping them out, they're bringing in that three, freshest back. Right now they're using three or four backs in there. They're mixing everybody up, keeping everybody fresh. And uh, they've gone on some steam drive. This, this started back at the 36 yard line. Let's see what Brewer does this time. I'm saying probably hand off to Bush. In the power eye formation. Nope, hand off to Hutchinson. And uh, he's going to lose some yardage there as what? Hamden's defense picked it up and wanted, was there early. They wanted to go to the outside. It looks there was a little bit of Adams coming back, handing to Hutchinson. D didn't quite get the ball in and into his gut where he wanted to, and then that, that held Kobe up for a couple seconds. Anytime you hold one of the running backs up for a couple seconds, that gives the defensive line to do a great job of shooting the gaps and getting in there. Craig Starnecki in there on the tackle, number five for Hamden Academy. Bring up a third and nine with the ball on the 16. Seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. And Adams coming to the line to scan the defense. The handoff to Nodden. Nodden going to get hit and dropped. Did a great job of opening the hole up that time, but the freshman there, Judkins for Hamden, came, did a nice job of coming up and filling the hole. But anytime you're a freshman, you're a 200-pounder. I'm sure the coach is pretty ecstatic to get him up here. <laughs> We want to thank some more of our sponsors. Page Employment, matching people to jobs since 1945. Need a job? No fees. Need employees? Call Page 991-9615. Seaboard Security, providing uniform security officers to main companies since 1988. Security you can trust. And it looks like uh, Tim Bush is going to attempt the field goal. Adams the holder. We could see a fake here. The kick is up, and the kick is good. That was Dylan Fitzpatrick. Excuse me, Fitzpatrick. That's right, Fitzpatrick does the kicking. So Brewer cuts it. A four-point lead now. 7-3 to three with 6-10 to go here in the third quarter. We're going to take a break. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security High School Game of the Week. When you have an important point to make, don't clutter up the ad with all sorts of extra information. If Page Employment doesn't charge workers a fee, then we should just say that. Page employment doesn't charge workers a fee. No fee. There, we said it. Jim Small Engines on Snow's Corner Road in Orrington has what you need when it comes to tackling yard work. Whether you're looking for expert service and repair, from guys with more years of experience than they may care to admit, or if you're in the market for a new mower, snow blower, string trimmer, generator, or pressure washer, Jim Small Engines on Snow's Corner Road in Orrington is the right place to go. Call Jim Small Engines at 825-3527 or visit them on the web at jimsmallengines.com. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security High School Game of the Week. Brewer on the board with a field goal, a 28-yard field goal, and he had the distance to probably put that in from about 35, if not even further, by Dylan Fitzpatrick. And the kick's going to take a good bounce there. Fielded at the 20 by number 7 of Hamden Academy. That's Justin Kelsey. He gets it up to about the 25. Now, Kelsey's a tight end on this team. Brought down by number 7. So 7-7 seven and seven collide that time. Tristan Olmixo on the tackle. And now Brewers defense looking to have to step up big here. Also want to thank Quality Jewelers with new location at the Penobscot Plaza in Bangor for fine jewelry. Carefree windows and siding for your siding and window and roofing needs. Everyone at Carefree wishes you a successful football season. Bangor Optical, Mount Hope Avenue in Bangor and check out their new office. The Eye Center Optical located in the Weber Building by EMMC in Bangor. Well, you speak of Devin Fitz. Patrick there, not only is he a very good football player, he's one of the instrumental guys on the hockey team that helped lead them into the Class B states last year. And Hamden Academy, their first offensive possession here in the second half, and they're going to go right back to what worked earlier, the handoff to Ross. Just a simple straight dive, right off tackle. Straight right on man-to-man -man blocking, and they're going to see if they can just push the witches back, and they did. And if you're Brewer and Coach Farnham, you want this defense to get a stop. You want to get that Hamden defense back out there because you ran them and you got them tired. Yeah, and, and what, what we saw was Coach Farnham was talking to the four backs and he was hunting. Every time we go to a certain 
play that I'm going to call this is I want you guys rotating in and out all the time. And it's going to be a handoff to Ross along the near side. A great, great job there. Number eight for Brewer. And that's Jared Davis. He was there and he slowed down the run of Ross. And once he slowed him down, the rest of the Brewer defenders were there and all ready to help yeah. bring him down. Great job by the defensive backs that time for the Witches as Adams and Davis that time came up and uh, made a great defensive stance that time. They're going to force a third and long three now for the Broncos. So now Brewer, the defense picking it up big here. There's their team starting to get into it now on the sidelines. And you can hear Coach Farnham. He's hauling and clopping. He's trying to get these guys fired up. Smith hands off to Ross. And Ross is going to be... I believe this good second effort of plunging down, keeping the knees going, is going to, and the legs drive, it's going to give him the first down, and it does. And he, he dragged a defender there. Jared Davis say, had him wrapped yeah. up around the waist, but the he, legs kept turning yeah. there for Ross. Yeah. So square the shoulders, just keep on driving, and that's what he did for an extra three yards, and he gave the Broncos a first down in Brooks territory. And now Smith coming back up to the line here. He's got Seeger in the backfield. Smith is going to keep it himself. He's going to scramble along the far side, across the 50, up to about the 47 for being brought down there. Brought down by number seven once again, Tristan Olmixer. Brewer did a great job, even though they was going to run wide. They did a great job of spacing everything out and keeping the uh, play going to the outside. They did not let them run north to south. They made them run east to west. Anytime the defense can stretch them out and do that, it's a great job. And now Brewer. The defense here going to have to come up big. Second and eight on the 47. Seven to three, your score in favor of Hamden Academy. Smith hands it off to Ross. Ross crosses the 45, still turning those legs. Brought down at the 41, so a good carry there again by Kyle Ross. Once again, Doug Nodden hit him right on the uh, waist where he's supposed to and draw it down, but you've got to really wrap up against him because he's going to drag you for a good two or three yards every play. So they're going to have to really lay the shoulder pads into him and then drop down and uh, wrap the legs up and, and put him down. If not, he's just going to drag him on. We want to thank Jim Small Engines from mowers to snowblowers and all your yard equipment needs. Snow's Corner Road in Orrington, sales and expert service. Smith, he's going to lunge forward. And uh, he might be a yard short here for first down. Not too often you see a quarterback sneak on third down, but. Oh, Anthony No on the tackle that time for Brewer. And we'll see what they do here. And they're going to measure it. And I also want to thank Bangor Canvas, covering all your canvas needs. The corner store where Gabby Price wishes everyone the best of luck. Northeastern Log Homes for quality log homes. And Edge Video, they have the edge on your video needs with a larger selection of new releases and hard to find videos. Locations in the Brewer Shopping Center and on State Street in downtown Bangor. It's going to be a first down for Hamden Academy. Also, high-quality DVDs of this game will be available. Call Eric Baxter at 991-9615. You are watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security High School Game of the Week, the Hamden Academy Broncos, the Brewer Witches, Adam Mahaney alongside Tim Kinney. And the pitch there is going to be to Seeger. Seeger along the far side. He's going to be brought down around the 44. Well, once again, we talked about not letting Hamden run you know, north to south, let them run east to west, and that's what they did again. They stretched the play out that time. Brewers number eight, Jared Davis, stretching the play out along with Timmy Bush and bringing him down, this time for a loss of four yards. And also Tom Corbett, our excellent statistician today, giving us all the stats, keeping us up to date. Yeah, thanks, Tony, keeping us in, uh, in line here tonight. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Extra set of hands definitely helps out in any situation, especially like this. Oh. Handoff. It's going to be to Ross. And uh, really, when you get into a situation like that where you've got three players pushing one way and four pushing the other way, come to a standstill. Kind of like a tug of war here. But Brewer's doing a good job of gang tackling, and that's what they've got to do, especially against a big, rugged senior like Ross. I mean, he's not going to come down on the first hit. These kids know that the Brewer's going to win this football game and weigh him down. They're going to have to make contact, great form tackling, and then drop and 
wrap the uh, arms around the knees to bring him down. And I look at it this way, Brewer had the ball to start this quarter. They had it for six minutes and put up three points. Hamden's well on pace to have the ball for six minutes, and we'll see what they do. Smith is gonna give it to Ross again. Ross has got a first down and more, the 20, the 10, five, and he's taking it in for a touchdown for Hamden Academy. Did and not, great, great play that time by Ross. He went right through the line, squared those shoulders, and you could just hear him popping shoulder pads all the way through, get into the secondary, popped a couple more guys, and then he was off to the races for the last 18 yards, and he puts another six in the house for the Broncos. So a great, great run there for Kyle Ross who's having a phenomenal game today. Unbelievable performance by the senior. His last homecoming game, it was a must win for Hamden Academy and just look what he's done today. Well, there's no question about it. I mean, he's with 143 yards and Tom's adding him up right here as we go through, but I mean, he is, there's no question in my mind, he'll definitely be in consideration for uh, the player of the week in the LTC as we get a false start here on Hamden. 183 yards so far here in the game with a minute 22 to go in the third quarter. He's, like you said, definitely player of the game consideration. I mean, he's had a phenomenal game. Yeah, player, definitely de consideration player of the game, but also he'll be in consideration, I would definitely say, for player of the week in the LTC. He's a uh, great job tonight. You can't ask more from a kid like that. That's what senior leadership will bring to you, especially looking, uh, as they know, they need this win to get into the playoffs. Both teams will probably go on the road uh, but it doesn't matter. When you make the playoffs, it's a whole new season. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. So the penalty helped them. They missed the first kick, and this one he puts through. So 122 to go. It's 14-3 to in favor of Hamden, Hamden Academy. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security High School Game of the Week. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The Hamden Academy Broncos. The Brewer Witches, 14 to three year score in favor of Hamden Academy in a must win game for Hamden. Homecoming weekend, the emotions are high for them and they're playing, they're playing well today. And that kick's gonna go out of bounds and we'll see where Brewer wants to take it. This is the second time this has happened. Well, the, the three scenarios you, you can, well actually two that you really give them is you take the, it, it, uh, this three, let me go back and let everybody know. When you kick the ball out of bounds, if the ball goes past the 35-yard line, then there's only two situations. You can have him re-kick with a five-yard penalty or take the ball at the 35. The only other scenario would be if the ball went out up beyond the 35, then they, of course, would have the scenario of taking the ball where it went out and re-kick, and it looks like they're going to make them re-kick. Always good to have the official up here in the booth well, to I've, explain I've had, the rules. I've had some good teachers over the years, <laughs> especially with Ralph Dameron, who's a state interpreter that does our classes every uh, Tuesday night, and, uh, Ralph, and uh, Neil Waterman and Bruce Anderson and Andy Constantine. There's been a bunch of them, so I really, uh, I probably should thank them because they've helped me along the way, and I've re I really appreciated those uh, senior veterans on our refereeing crew. And Brewer took the penalty. They want Hamden to re-kick here. And back deep for Brewers, number 22, Delray Meeker, number 27, Bob Coombs, and number 10, Kobe Hutchins. And that kick's gonna go, and it's gonna be fielded by Hutchins at the 20. Crosses across the 30. Got a seam. 35, 40. Loose football. Loose football. And the officials are gonna say he was down. Down by, yeah, down by contact, and the ball, when the ball hits the ground, the ball cannot cause a fumble. Great heads up play though on the, by Jared Davis of Brewer. He saw the fumble and he still went down on it just in case and he came away with it, so. Well, Brewer's in great field position right here on the 44, 43 yard line. And we'll see what Rick Adams can do here for Brewer. Well, now's the time the offensive line's gotta step up. They've gotta knock those holes open for Hutchins and Meeker and Bush to get in there. They've got to get, start getting four, five, six yards at a pop here. 
And if you're Brewer, you want to hurry up and try to score here. And it's Bush across the 50, the 45, and brought down at the 42-yard line. Move, great move by Timmy Bush that time, went right up the middle. There's some yellow on the field, and it's not the, uh, the lines. It is some flags. We have a couple flags thrown on the field. One was thrown a little bit later. Gonna Face mask. Let's we'll see if it's an intentional or uh, unintentional. I couldn't see what, what uh, Mr. Heath was saying. Personal foul grabbing the face mask. We don't know if it's a 5 or 15. Yeah. And he's going to mark off uh, 15. So that's a big wrap. That's a big penalty against Hamden. No, it was not an unintentional, but you got to give Bush credit. I mean, he busted through the line. That's when he, he, you could see he wanted that one. And he cut to the outside, made a great stutter step move, cut back to the inside. And then when he was tackled, the, the helmet was grasped for 15 yards, which was tacked on to the end of the run, putting Brewer inside the 30 yard line now. And just like their last drive, Bush out, nodding in. And Adams is going to keep it himself along the near side. And he's going to get it up to about the 24-yard line. A gain of three. Clock is still ticking here. Met that time by number 53, Noah John. Excuse me, Matt York. Looks like Adams wanted to freeze the defensive end that time, but the defensive end did a good job of stepping in and sealing him, forcing the play back inside. Adams didn't have nowhere to uh, pitch the ball to the outside, so he had to tuck it in and... Run it up the middle. Great night for football. Clear skies. But we have seen our breath for the first time tonight. And the handoff is going to be to Bush. And gets it up to about the 18. So five-yard gain there. And he's tackled the time by number 50, Tyler Burrow. Burrow. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We're going to head to the fourth. Brewer trailing 14-3 to, to Hamden Academy. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security High School Game of the Week. During our lifetime, priorities change, and we begin to seek out products that enhance our lives. We move and we grow and come to realize what's truly important. We begin to understand the value of our time and see the results of investing wisely. Priorities change, standards don't. Paradigm Windows of Portland, Maine. Windows solutions for life. Available from Carefree Window and Siding Company. Call 989-4260. Northeastern Log Homes 4 Star Promise. To design the dream home that's perfect for you and your family. To ensure your home will be built with materials of the highest quality and durability and offered at a fair price. To deliver a complete easy build package with more of what you need, like Anderson windows, Owens Corning shingles, and Morgan doors. To provide factory direct expert assistance every step of the way for as long as you own your home. Come visit us in Kanduskeg and we'll help build your dreams with our experience. 